Hi everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Torge Peterson from the Software PAE Group at Danfoss Power Solution and in this video I would like to show two functionalities which allows you to export the graphical guide code and integrate that in your simulation to include the behavior of controller and system integration and to troubleshoot vehicle simulation modules for hardware or software in the loop test. The first functionality which has been available for many versions is the so-called generate S function or Simulink S function. The second functionality is called generate FMU and has been added in guide version 12.2. Generate S function or the S function itself is a computer language description of a Simulink block which are dynamically linked subroutines that the MATLAB execution engine can automatically load and execute. Simply said, the S function is a function block with the content of your guide code applicable in a MATLAB simulation model, but for MATLAB simulating only. Generate FMU is more or less the same feature like generate S function, but via FMU you have an interface to exchange dynamic models to more than uh, 100 different tools and not MATLAB simulating only. This feature exports a plus one guide page or module according to the functional mockup interface standard supporting both modeled exchange and co-simulation. I will show briefly in the following the requirements, the setup and the output of both functionalities. Starting with the S function. Up to now this function is available via its own add-on license called integration simulating S function. Like for any other add-on license, a guide professional parent license is needed. Since this functionality relates to a MATLAB simulating only, a MATLAB license is required to generate the S function and the path to the MATLAB executable file needs to be assigned. S functions generated by this feature might work well together with versions of MATLAB, but except uh, 2010b during development, the behavior has not been tested fully. Besides these steps, no other package or license is needed to use this feature and guide. Additional steps might need to be followed inside MATLAB Simulink. Please refer to the MATLAB manual, how to install and set up the C compiler, for instance. How to start Generate S function and guide. As soon as you select Generate S function inside the compile menu, an S function will be generated from the current page in Plus One Guide and automatically include any modules or subpages on that page. During the S function conversion, the project will be extracted from original and partial compiled with a simulated HWD system file. Since the S function is linked with a MATLAB installation path, it will invoke and the S function will be created um, by open an instance. In general, all features of Plus One Guide are supported. There are, however, a number of exceptions which are not supported in S functions and listed here, like compiled code package, IEC 61139-3 PRU language, read-only parameters, array constant from binary file, screen and app log pages and components, and C code. Together with the S function, a convenience block is generated. This block has one input bus and one output bus with all signal for the code. Any module connections not connected to modules inside the simulated page or its subpages, hardware inputs and outputs, diagnostic signals like checkpoints, setpoints and set pulses, and the page interface, if any, of the simulated page like signals and buses. The output of the S function generation consists of the S function itself an M file containing the interface of the S function, a convenience block, and a file containing translations of interface signals. Bus interface signals and hardware inputs and outputs containing characters that are not allowed in C identifiers will be translated automatically. All translations will be presented in a text file after the conversion, which you can see in the output. Users that model their machines in MATLAB Simulink can not only export an S function from their guide code, but they can also import structured text objects or C code from Simulink. You are able to get um, code from Simulink imported into guide and include it in a complete application. With the PLC and C support, this is easily done by generating a PLC open XML file or C code from Simulink. 
This can then be imported in the guide code and compiled to target. Please refer to another video where this feature language integration and guide by our PLC and or C code is explained more in detail. Now we will take a look to the feature generate functional mockup unit called FMU. This function is available via the guide add-on license called guide functional safety or guide add-on license quality assurance. Like for any other add-on license, a guide professional parent license is needed. Besides this add-on license, no other package or license is needed to use the feature generate FMU and guide. Since this feature has been implemented in guide 12.2, at least this version or higher is required. How to start generate FMU and guide. After select generate FMU inside the compile menu, you will start to set up the FMU export in the dialog. Set the name of the FMU, mainly related to the guide page you navigated to. Choose the target folder for the generated FMU output path. Set the architecture of the generated FMU, 32 or 64 bit, and specify an optional CAN database file to use for each CAN port to map signals and parameters to the content of CAN messages. These messages uh, will appear at the interface of the generated FMU. As soon you click on generate, a FMU export will be generated from the current page in Plus One Guide and automatically include any modules or subpages on that page. The interface of the generated FMU consists of the page interface of the simulated page, so all signals and buses and CAN messages as defined by CAN database. The BIOS signals like the operation system start, loop count and execution time, also called processing time, which can be used to set the step size in milliseconds during co-simulation, and any module connections and diagnostic signals as well. The FMU is a zipped file, so you can open it in zip format and see it does include a folder with DLLs and the file model descriptions, which shows all the interface signals generated from your guide code. Please take a look to the guide user menu and the help content as well, where this new feature is described more in detail. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One community help is available on the Plus One user forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One help desk. Thank you for your attention.